Hey guys, it's Kim Kim. My real name is Kim. In case you're curious, thank you for joining me for another video. And if you're new, then welcome. If you've seen this shirt in this style before, that means that you've been here before and I appreciate you. Um, yeah, so if you haven't seen the video where I look just like this, my twists are over two weeks old. Okay, I did them on the 2nd of Jan... I was going to say January. I did them on the 2nd of July. Today is the 18th of July. So we are past the two week mark and I spritz them and mousse them multiple times a week. I also oil my scalp and oil my strands. So we're at the point where it's time to take them out and I will probably take them out today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This video right now is to talk about unfortunately the products that just are not making the cut anymore i have mentioned before that i am reorganizing my stash i just had that video um check the link below or above um where i showed you the new products i have that need to go on the shelf so therefore we have to get rid of some old ones okay and this this one hurt me a little bit so we're gonna go over them first product i have is from nefertiti secret natural remedies uh hair solutions and it's their all-in-one leave-in treatment it detangles hydrates softens strengthens revitalizes, adds shine with moringa oil and natural extract and it's eight ounces um i bought this along with their gel i really like their gel but i realized that i don't need this product with it and i didn't really feel what i wanted to feel from it so it's just kind of been sitting and i feel like somebody else can get more use out of this like my boyfriend's growing his hair out so i feel like a lot of these products that i've already used i will give to him or like friends and family my brothers anybody else i don't want to give them to you guys because i've already used them but yeah so this just i don't know this just didn't do it for me but i do like the gel next is a sorenzo beauty clay wash and this is the juicy scent i have tried this before i think i have a video of it i'm not sure um, there's probably gonna be a couple of the a lot of these products actually that probably have videos so you can check my feed if you would like but um, this one is just old I believe this one was separating and it's just I I don't ever pick it up y'all I do not ever pick it up so and I, I've had it for years so I've used it I think once or twice um, it's about a third, maybe actually like a half. This one's like a half of it left. So I, it's paining me to not keep this. I really want to keep this. So I don't know. If y'all see this in MG's video instead, then mind your business. But for right now, I think this needs to go. Next is the main choice um, hair type four leaf clover, manageability and softening remedy, stubborn edges, freezing gel, super hold type four and proud. Perfect blend, clove oil, flaxseed oil, aloe vera for kinky, wavy, for curly, wavy, kinky, coily hair. It's four fluid ounces infused with biotin and vitamin D and E. I'm at a point in my career, no, not career, in my natural hair life where the main choice just is not really doing it for me. I don't know. So I feel like there might be some more main choice in that box, but, and this is like a squeezy type gel and for me when i do a slick style i really like to use that pattern leave-in i mean what that pattern um edge control because it's not a super hard crunch so like i feel like when i do like my puffs my slicks what i do like i just love it for anything slick because it gives me it doesn't give me a hard hold and i can consistently apply it and it won't cake up or um cause flakes um, this one is like really gooey and I just didn't I didn't want to deal with it The next product I have is the curl smith scalp recipe a uh, postbiotic calming conditioner It's a cooling conditioner for all hair types and scalp types and it's 12 ounces I've had this probably since 2020 and I've used it a couple times But there's still a lot in here and I really like I don't I like to use deep conditioners This is not a deep conditioner. So I really don't have any space for it Next is Negus Banda's Choco Delight Clay Wash. I think I've used this one time. This one is absolutely separating. The natural oils in the product is separating and 
I've mixed it up multiple times thinking I'm gonna use it and then I never use it. It also smells like chocolate and I don't really like my hair smelling like chocolate. I do remember this product being good and I do love Negus Vonda and I will continue to purchase and receive products from them, but this one, it's just, I don't reach for it. Next, I have the Coco Plums Beauty Black Caster Shampoo. Uh, I did some sponsored content with them years ago um, and I liked the shampoo. It smells really good, but I have so many shampoos and I have not reached for this for probably at least two years now. So I've been trying to keep it because I really like the smell and it worked really well, but it's just, no. But their hair cream is really, really good. I use that all the way up. I need some more to be honest. Next, I have another clay mask from the Garden of Bloom. It's their Cultivating Herbal Clay Mask, and it's eight ounces. I got this um, Bell and Bloom. I don't know if she still sells products or not, but I did buy this from her. She's on YouTube as well. Um, and I really liked this, but I didn't enjoy the smell. Um, yeah, it's... It's one of those very natural products. So, I mean, it worked really well and I think I have a video of it. It's, I just haven't picked it up since that video. Next, I have three products from the same brand and it's Corzin. I did uh, some sponsored content for them and um, I've used quite a bit of their leave-in conditioner. That That's what, uh, I think that's what this is. Yeah, that's what this one is. Um, I use quite a bit of it. Uh, I really don't remember too much about it. I do know that I liked it because I did pick it up again and I believe I was able to get a one product wash and go with this. Um, so that's nice, but I just have so many leave-in conditioners and this is so big and I don't see myself getting through it. So this will probably be another product that goes to my boyfriend or my brother. I also have their Milk and Manuka Honey Moisturizing Deep Conditioner. That's 12 ounces. Um, I told y'all I do not like my deep conditioners and squeeze bottles like this. It just, it makes my life hard. Um, I do think out of all three products, this is the product I liked the least out of the collection. I also have their Milk and Manuka Honey Moisturizing Shampoo. That's also 12 ounces. Um, this is very, I don't remember it being this watery, but I have had these products for some years, so I don't know. But um, it, all these products smell really good. I love the smell of Manuka Honey, that milk and honey scent. I love it. But um, I have so many shampoos and this is just not one that I've reached for. And once again, it is really, really big. So I don't see myself getting through it anytime soon. I think I've used each of these products maybe two or three times and that was it. So unfortunately, I have to make some space. Next, I have the Eva NYC Therapy Session Hair Mask. I really liked this mask, but the smell kind of took over for me and I have not reached for this again. Um, Urban Fab Curls put me onto this and I do like it, but if you are scent sensitive, I would not pick this up. If your nose doesn't trip off of intense scents, then I would highly recommend it because it is very moisturizing and it is really good. I just couldn't get past the smell and I believe the smell stuck in my hair a little bit. It's very, it gives perfumey, but not the perfume that I want to smell. So unfortunately, after some years, I have to finally let this go. Next, I have some products from Demonet's Organics. Um, first product is a product that I did not try. It's been sealed. I have not used it, I do not think. Um, and it's their Flaxseed Gel. It has a tropical island fragrance. It's lightweight and slimy styling gel that holds your curls, defines them, and assists with growth. And it's six ounces. Um, I just, I don't know, I, don't, I really don't know why I picked this up because flaxseed gels don't really work for me too often. Sometimes they do, but the, I, I don't know why I still buy flaxseed gels, but I have had this for a couple of years and I, I've never used it. So it's gotta go. I have an, some more Demonet's Organics products and this is the Hydrate Me Shampoo with Peppermint Fragrance. This shampoo, I remember, one, it's super thick, so like getting through this was impossible. Um, it's the thickness of honey. <laughs> um, I used it a couple times. It did clean my hair a lot, but I feel like it was almost to the point of stripping and it's a hydrating shampoo, so it kind of 
that defeated the purpose. Like, I, I don't want to pick up a hydrated shampoo when I need it to be clarifying. I have certain products for certain things. And this one just didn't fit in the right category. It's also starting to do some some wonky things. You can't really see. It's like got like thick part. I don't know what that is. But yeah. Next, I have... Ugh, this, this hurts. This really hurts. But I have their Mango Butter Hair Milk. And it's also a mango fragrance and it's eight fluid ounces. I love this product, but I hate this bottle. And it turned me off to using it. Cause like it's, I've had it like stored like this. I've been, sh I shake it. It's impossible to get out. It's so thick, so creamy, so, so yummy. But I cannot get it out of this bottle. So... I do know that now she has it in a jar, which, thank goodness, because this is some good stuff. I still would recommend it. I just cannot get it out. I cannot get it out, but I love this stuff. Next, I have Kennedy's Essentials Black Soap Cleanser infused with chamomile and juniper berries. It's supposed to cleanse and nourish, and it's eight ounces. I only use this once. I'm not sure why. I do have a video of me using this product along with one of their deep conditioners. Um, that's from years back, but yeah, so it's very, very liquidy. That kind of shampoo stresses me out a little bit. Um, I do remember it working well, but I don't, I guess it wasn't a standout product to me. So I never picked it back up and it's been some years. So it's gotta go. I have another De Monet's Organics product that I forgot to show you guys, but um, this is their Hibiscus Renew and Restore Deep Conditioner, and it is 12 fluid ounces. It has a floral fragrance. The reason I'm getting rid of this is because um, I haven't been reaching for it often, but also it's cracked, and I feel like once a product is like constantly open, it's not the best to continue to use it. So unfortunately I had to let this one go. I think I finished the other one that I had from her though. Like I still love this mask. It's still really good. I do prefer the other one over this one, I believe, because this one is like like floral scented and that's not really my jam. So unfortunately this one has to go. Next I have some products from Me Joy Naturals. This is their Caught Slip-In Multi-Use Conditioner and Detangler. Um I did use this product actually a lot, believe it or not, and it's just, it doesn't go anywhere. Um, I do think it was moisturizing, but I don't think it's as moisturizing as I was expecting or as I wanted it to be. Um, I use it on my hair. I think I use it on my cousin's hair. I think I used it on my brother's hair. Um, so it's a good multi-use product. It's just, it takes forever to get through. And I have the, it's the oil for me by me joy it's their nourishing hair scalp and beard oil for all hair types this is another product i just i mean it's it's an oil and i just i have so many oils in this one i have not really gotten to i think i may have tried it once or twice as you guys can see it's still at the very top so maybe one time i think next i have the sugar puff beauty gentle creamy cleanser and it's 16 ounces, it has separated, and I've shaken it up a few times. So like I've let it separate and then shaken it up a couple of times and I still have not used it. It's very dusty. Um, now this, I did like, it. this made my hair more moisturized than their conditioner did, which I thought was kind of crazy. Um, and I did like it, but I, I got rid of the conditioner a while ago because it wasn't moisturizing. Well, it wasn't as moisturizing as the cleanser. So I didn't really see a point in keeping it. And now I don't really see a point in keeping this either. Um, it's kind of just like a one-off product. And unfortunately, it's it's got to go. Next, I have a Beauty Nest by Anna Floor. Um, it's her shampoo bar with Moringa and Chebe. And it is four ounces. I've used this so many times, but now it feels like it's leaving a film on my hair when I wash my hair, and it hasn't done that before. So I do know this is multi-year-old product, so I'm thinking that 
something in it <laughs> is not working the way it used to so unfortunately it's got to go next i have a the curl smith scalp recipe super slip prebiotic primer um this is a pre-wash treatment for all hair types all hair and scalp types and it is 12 fluid ounces it's the first step in like their um their scalp collection um it goes with the product i showed you guys earlier that um conditioner I did like this, it did give my hair a lot of slip, but I have so many pre-poos and this wasn't, I mean, it was good, but it's definitely not a favorite, so, and I've had it for years. I feel like if I have had a product for years and years and it's still not done, then it's time to part ways. Next I have the Healthy Mup in Hair <laughs> Deep Cleansing Hair Bath. Um, it's a hair and scalp detox and it's eight ounces. I think I used this product one time and I can't remember. Like I cannot remember it. I did purchase this with my own money. I have their um, hair repair, repair hair treat, the two-in-one deep, deep treatment for eight ounces. I have this in here as well. This was gifted to me. I did um, a collaboration with them with this. This one I purchased during like Black Friday or something. Um, but yeah, I do not remember this at all and i haven't picked it up since the one time i used it i did have a really good wash day with these products but for me i don't know yeah i don't know but i'll, I'll probably end up keeping these around and my boyfriend or brother or somebody will have them so if i ever want to grab it again and try it again i can because i really don't want to part ways with these um this one has a perfumey scent and it's very strong as well um sometimes it like stabs me in the nose but i did try this product when i had covid in 2021 and ever since then like never every time i smell it something just seems a little off so using it just is not in my best interest unfortunately they were really good well i remember this being really really good this i cannot remember next i have the entwine booster buttercream hydrator um i have two products from entwine actually i also have their flaunt 100 percent wild argon oil so i'm getting rid of these because every time i work with entwine they send me more products and this one is is old and has been used so um I have a brand new one of this and a brand new one of this so i didn't feel the need to keep these on my shelf as well so these will also be going to somebody else i won't be throwing them out i'll be giving them to somebody else who needs them next i have some more kennedy's essential hair products this is their extra moisture hair milk which i was almost done with but i just i don't know it's i i just i have not reached for it <laughs> in some time and it's been at this for a long time this is so so good though what a lot of these products that i'm saying that i'm gonna get rid of i think i'm gonna keep low-key i feel like i want to i want to keep this i do not want to get rid of it i need to but i don't want to um and then i also have their botanical styling cream which is also an amazing product i used these two together for a what was that like a flexi rod set and it looked amazing, super shiny, super moisturized, and it had like bounce, and it just looked really, really good. So I really don't wanna get rid of these, but unfortunately I have not reached for them in some years, and I just can't keep holding on. Next, I have the Ayurvedic Shampoo Bar with Hibiscus from Organic Beauty Essence, and this is simply going away because I have, I think, two of these and then i have that new one that i showed you guys in the video prior to this so this is the one that i've used before i've used it multiple times and it's starting to look funny i don't think i'm storing these properly so i'm gonna get rid of this one but i'm still going to be using them because i have multiples so unfortunately this one has to go but this is not the last time i'll be using this shampoo bar next i have a product junkie naturals product and it's their marshmallow and cucumber ayurvedic clay wash it's supposed to detox cleanse condition and detangle which it did all those things 
and I only have one use left, but y'all, this had particles. And I cannot, like, all that black you're seeing, particles. And it just takes so much work to rinse it out, especially this being a clay wash or clay mask, clay wash. It's already super thick on your strands. And then you also have to be super specific about rinsing it out because it does leave stuff back if you don't rinse it properly so you have to use this then shampoo maybe twice to make sure it's all out and then condition it was a lot if you hear sleeping in the background my dog and my boyfriend are both sleeping in here so excuse that next i have the black fairy naturals rose water and aloe revitalizing shampoo and it's eight ounces um it's a little less than half weight it's a little more than halfway done um i did like this alongside the conditioner that came with it but i have not picked it up since i've used up that whole conditioner i loved that conditioner so if you want to check out black fairy naturals i would look up i believe it's their rose water and aloe deep conditioner hopefully she still has it it is amazing super moisturizing it, it was a liquidy like a runny consistency but i feel like it was okay because my hair felt amazing when I used it. This was just like a shampoo. That deep conditioner was the truth. Um, next, I have Misha's Boost Hydrating Leave-In and Curl Refresher Spray made with rosemary and aloe vera, and it's eight ounces. Um, this one is one of those other products that's just like almost gone, so I really don't think I want to keep this. Um, I don't know, you may see it in empties. A lot, some of these products are kind of like up for discussion. Like when once I go through them again, like after talking about them right now, I'm like, ooh, do I wanna give that away? Ooh, do I wanna give that away? Or ooh, does that need to go in the trash? Or is that too old? Or, you know, so, but this one is like really close to the bottom. It might as well be an empty to be honest with y'all. Um, but I just do not reach for this. I have other refresher sprays that I love so much more than this one. So I have not been picking this one up. Next, I have the last product from the Curlsmith Soft Scalp Recipe um, Collection, like the wash day, the three-step wash day or whatever. And it is the Wash and Scrub Detox Probiotic. It's a clarifying scrub shampoo for all hair types. Um, this is along with the other ones. I have not used this in so long, so it needs to go. Next, I have this Eden Body Works Papaya Castor Foam Conditioner. I never really figured out how they wanted me to use this. Uh, it just says apply to damp hair and do not rinse. Like, is this a leave-in? I don't know. I kept it for so long because I was like, maybe I'll find a way to use this. But I have not. So unfortunately, it must go. Next, I have the Butterland Aloe and Shea Hydrating and Det Detangling Styling Cream. That's eight ounces. Um, this is another product. This is more than halfway done but it doesn't have a smell. It is very, very moisturizing and it did leave my hair like defined and moisturized for a long time. Um, it was a really good product, but unfortunately I've been getting more and more good products as products are evolving and I just have not, have not reached for it. Um, it is old now, um, a few years I believe. So I'm not, I don't know. I just, I'm not picking it up. So it just needs to get up out of here. Next, I have the U High, I believe is how you pronounce it, styling cream. Um, it defines shape and enhances curls infused with baobab fruit and it's 12.5 ounces. And I just, I used this a few times and I did get a really great twist out for y'all who are not new here. You know, a twist out for me is a strong feat. And I got a really good one with this one. Um, but like, see, it's like a lot of moisture in here and it's starting to look like cottage cheese. So I said, ah, this needs to go. Next is the Beyond Glamorous Beauty um, Company, I believe. It's their healthy hair herbal tea. I got this so long ago. I've never cracked it open, still fresh um, because it, they're dried herbs. So I assume they'll be fine forever. <laughs> well, not forever, but you know what I mean. Um, it doesn't have an expiration date on it, so. Um, but yeah, I just never use this. I, I'm not into the DIY thing. I do have some more DIY clay washes and clay masks 
that I need to get through and that's why I'm getting rid of so many now because I want to use up those those last longer because they're just powders than these that are already pre-mixed so yeah that but this is definitely one of those do-it-yourself hair teas and I already have a hair tea that I've had opened so I'm I'm just really not and if you guys want this just let me know <laughs> I could probably if you just send me a message on like Instagram or something I can send you this and maybe you'll get a little surprise in it as well but I don't want this so y'all let me know and then last but not least I have the Coco Plums Beauty Growth Serum I really liked this stuff I use quite a bit of it but um there's stuff at the bottom now can you see that I don't know what that is um, and I've had this for a long time. I do, well, I did use this like regular, semi-regularly. Like when I need to oil my scalp, I would kind of pick this up sometimes because this one actually smells probably the best out of most of the oils I have. So I would use this when I didn't want my oil to smell like oil. But um, yeah. That finally concludes all the products that are going through this mid-year purge. Um, I gotta get rid of some of the old to make room for the new. I have been slowing down a little bit on buying new products. Now, if I have collaborations, and obviously that's just products that's coming in, but me personally purchasing them, I am not actively trying to do too much of that. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend, tell a cousin, to tell a cousin, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. The links are in the description box. Please also check out my website below. That's where you can find coupon codes. And um, yeah, make sure you let me know if you want that hair tea. It has not been opened, has not been touched. So you let me know if you want that. Um, and I guess the first person to reach out gets it. <laughs> Anyways, um, thank you for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.